So I decided to observe the star on four consecutive nights. And stunningly, the star was shown to wobble exactly as Michel Mayor had said. Michel Mayor and his teammate Didier Coelho announced their discovery. It rocks the scientific community. They had found for the first time reproducible, confirmable evidence of the existence of a planet around a sun-like star. Officially called 51 Pegasi B, the planet is nicknamed Bellerophon in honor of the Greek hero who tamed the winged horse Pegasus. It is a planet that breaks all the rules. Bellerophon roasts in the blazing starlight at temperatures of roughly 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit, almost 1,000 degrees Celsius. It is nearly 150 times more massive than Earth and is a gas giant like Jupiter. A gas giant is a planet made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Only the outer layers are gas, but inside, hydrogen and helium is compressed to huge, huge, huge pressures. It doesn't resemble a gas at all. Unlike anything found in our solar system, this is an entirely new class of planet, what scientists call a hot Jupiter. If you go to Hawaii and see the lava flow there, that's how hot a hot Jupiter is. It's very, very hot. The Earth is a comfortable 93 million miles, or 150 million kilometers away from the Sun. These hot Jupiters are roughly 100 times closer, and so the amount of sunlight that they get is 10,000 times larger. If this represents a star, and this a hot Jupiter, a hot Jupiter is three to four stellar diameters away from the star. So that would be one, two, three. This is how close a hot Jupiter would be to its star. Hot Jupiters are tidally locked. They present the same face to the star at all times, just like the moon does to Earth. It's going to be permanent daylight on one side and permanent nighttime on the back. If I were stuck on a hot Jupiter, I'd want to be on the back side and hope that some of the heat from the front side facing the star would make its way around the back. The variations in temperature make Bellerophon's atmosphere extremely windy. As the air is cooked by the star, it rises. Cooler air rushes downward to replace it, just as it does on Earth. The wind howls at thousands of kilometers per hour, far beyond anything we could ever withstand. The heat blast guarantees water vapor cannot exist, but that doesn't mean there is no rain. It's far too hot for water liquid clouds to form here, but instead these clouds would be made out of iron. Iron vapor can exist at much higher temperatures than water. And because of that, things could get a little messy. You better have an umbrella that's pretty sturdy because the iron is going to start coating your umbrella very rapidly and making it extremely heavy and just crush that umbrella. The sky overhead is filled with dancing curtains of color. Charged particles from the nearby star make auroras far more extreme than the northern lights on Earth. There is something else unique about this newly discovered world. Bellerophon orbits its sun in a blistering 4.2 days. No self-respecting planet goes around a star in 4.2 days. None of the planets in our solar system take such a short amount of time. For scientists, the tiny orbit challenges long-held notions of how planets form. 
The fact that the planet was orbiting every four days was a total puzzle until one night in the middle of the night I woke up and said, well, this must be proof that planets migrate inwards. They don't stay put where they are. The key to the puzzle is found in how planets are made. Planets are a byproduct of star formation. When stars form, they have a disk of dust and debris around them, and out of that debris, planets form. Much of what we know comes from the Hubble Space Telescope, as it aims at regions like the Eagle Nebula. This interstellar cloud is studded with collapsing disks of dust and gas. A giant clump grows in the center of each disk. Temperatures reach a searing 10 million degrees Celsius. The same nuclear fusion that powers our sun is unleashed. The star is born. Radiation from the star generates a stellar wind that sweeps away leftover dust and debris. Some of the dust survives and remains in orbit around the newborn star. Over millions of years, the dust sticks together, forming knots that grow into asteroids. And the asteroids grow into planets. These planets migrate through the disk until they find a stable orbit. This is why Bellerophon is so close to its parent star. But one newly discovered world has found its stable orbit in a place no planet should ever go. Two thousand and one. The Hubble Space Telescope is directed to an obscure star some 150 light years away from Earth in the constellation of Pegasus. This is the same region where Bellerophon was found six years earlier. Hubble is tracking another hot Jupiter discovered by astronomer Jeff Marcy. But this one is different from Bellerophon. You've probably heard of the planet HD 209458b. It's a terrible name. A terrible name for a terrible place. HD 209458b has been dubbed by some as Osiris after the Egyptian god of the dead. Osiris is over 200 times more massive than Earth. It has migrated perilously close to its sun. At a mere 4 million miles, or almost 6.5 million kilometers from the blazing solar surface, Osiris broils in a planetary hell. The average daily temperature on Osiris is over 1,000 degrees Celsius. Forget global warming, this is global frying, and it causes Osiris to lose an estimated 500,000 metric tons of air every second. There's a leak of gas a steady stream of hydrogen and helium, and that's making a big, huge cloud all around the planet. Its atmosphere is bleeding into space. Scientists speculate that a colossal trail of gas spirals behind the planet for thousands of kilometers. Osiris presents an unprecedented opportunity for astronomers. Using Hubble, they analyze the alien planet's bloated atmosphere. This is the absolutely first time where we could tell what is the composition of the atmosphere of an extrasolar planet. Surprisingly, Hubble detects many of the basic chemicals needed for life. Sodium, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. But Osiris is far too hot for life as we know it. There may be other forms of life, however, that thrive on higher temperatures. 
but there's no solid surface as we know it on a hot Jupiter. So this life would have to be just tiny little microbes floating around on aerosols. And on our own Earth, we have life that floats around in our atmosphere. But that life didn't start there. So life almost certainly would not exist on hot Jupiters. Astronomers have discovered many hot Jupiters since Bellerophon was found in 1995. 